Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Ixion. Now, before we get started, remember, as always, if you're a fan of the series and you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Leaving a like or comment can really help the series do well, especially in these early episodes. And if you want to more directly support the series, you can always become a channel member and even get some of those episodes early. So, in the last episode, we had found our first cryopods and added about 60 or 70 people to our population. And we also sent out several probes and have started to figure out more about what's happened in the time since we've been gone. We know Dolos has had a battle with the UN and the Black Market Society, but we're not exactly sure why. We have our ideas, obviously, and all of that, but we don't really know what the outcome was or if there are different factions aligned and if there are different interests. Now, we have found a facility called Outer Hope, which is broadcasting a Dolos signal, so that's something that we're currently working on cracking right now. So we're picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, orbiting Earth still, which is an absolute depressing sight. I mean, I think we should probably move soon, because it's dragging me down, i got to be honest. To go over things really quickly, have a bit of a recap. Up in the top left, we have our current objective, resolve the event at the end of Outer Hope in the planetary system map. That's going to be up here. So we've got five cycles left to do that. We encountered Outer Hope. We had a look around the outside. We saw the debris. We collected a little few things. But ultimately, we want to get inside and see what's going on. So it's going to take five cycles to do that. We've already begun it. Our science ship, the Ripley, is there and figuring it out. Apart from that, on the system map, we have a bunch of different anomalies around the place. Debris field, asteroid belt. We've currently got a probe that's coming all the way out to this location here. We've got another thing around Uranus, Neptune, Saturn. Lots of things to go explore and figure out. Because of that, I was actually thinking that we could build another docking bay. So we currently have one right here. We're not limited to one. We can have as many as we want. So another docking bay right here could be a good idea. But I was thinking of actually building it in Sector 2. The reason for that is Sector 2 is going to be in like my industrial area. And I feel like a docking bay here would allow us to have cargo ships that deliver in the iron. So iron gets fed directly into our smelter. Now our smelter is currently just offline for population and well, mostly population reasons. I was going to say power reasons, but it really is just the population. So you may remember, in the last episode, I had taken in some iron here, and I had been sending it along the road out towards this area. Highly inefficient. Because it requires five workers to do that. So really, I have five workers for a stockpile of iron here, and then another five here. When really, we could just have one if we could just deliver it straight into where it needs to go. So trying to min max my population a bit because we've been tight on workforce now at the moment we currently have 200 population in sector one and in sector two we've got 50 and then we have 12 people in cryopods right now that we have to thaw or awaken now interestingly in between episodes i was having a look at this number and i realized that not everyone is working not everyone can work not everyone is specialized or has the technical knowledge or whatever to work on this space station slash spacecraft. So I was having a quick look in the tutorial section. I looked at population and here it says workers versus non-workers. The Tycoon's crew is split between these two different types. The latter do not have the sufficient skills to operate the station facilities. And that's that. You're going to take on people that are going to be mouths to feed that are not going to be, you know, providing anything back to society. <laughs> so if I could go full authoritarian cutthroat and just kick them out of, eject their pods back out to space, <laughs> cram them back in and send them flying, but it doesn't seem like we can do that. However, there is the data listening system policy screen, the law screen. Maybe somewhere down the line we can do something like that, or maybe we could even train them up and get them to work eventually. I don't know. I really don't know, so we'll have to wait and see. But it was just something I thought was worth mentioning. You'll notice that we have a lot more people but it, we didn't necessarily scale our work the same rate. It's because some of those people just can't work right now. They can certainly eat. All right, so in Sector 2, though, it's a different story. We have 50 people, we have 50 workers. They're all fine. And that's because we've been thawing out the cryopods here, and we only moved workers in this way. And you can actually choose who goes where. You can say, take the non-workers and get them into, send them all to Sector 7. You know what I mean? <laughs> um... So yeah, so we'll think about that in the future. But um, at the moment, this is going to be our industrial section. So let's get started. We're going to build a docking bay. I was thinking of just popping it down in the corner here. 
Don't see why not. It's a, maybe a little far from things. It doesn't really matter too much. At least it's in the same place, it, in the same sector that it needs to be. Connect the roads up like that. And we'll deliver the 60 alloys. Now to do that, we're going to have to say sector 2, its alloy count should be 100. And we'll lower down sector 1's to about 150. So that means they're going to be... Oh my god. There we go. They're going to be transferring these two things over. Oh my god, time's actually playing right now, so they're doing it already. We're going to transfer these things over, get it built into the docking bay, and then what we can do is load up that cargo. Uh, actually, we can actually move the cargo ship that's here, the Gloose Cap, all the way in here if we want. The only problem with that would be that if we do take in new people, we'll then need to thaw them out in there. So we can actually move this building as well. So once this is done, getting all these people out of it, we're going to decommission this building, get all the resources back, rebuild it here, and make this the place where everything comes in. So, ideally, this docking bay will only have cargo in the future. And the reason, and then here, we can maybe build a second science ship instead. So, that's the plan. And that's the, just because we have so many anomalies ongoing that while we're waiting five cycles, we can't do anything else in terms of finding out what's going on, collecting the science points and all of that. Uh, so, we need another science ship. Alright, so hopefully everyone's all caught up. Again, very, very brief overview here. Sector 1 is sort of like my space sector, my overall general starting sector. Bunch of stockpile here in the center, construction here, food here, all the things that deal with the outside here, housing in the bottom right, and then the cryopod thing like we just saw. On this side of things, we have our smelter, storage, construction, and food and houses haphazardly thrown down there. Currently, we also have 13 people in the infirmary hospitalized and 4 people here hospitalized. So. Work conditions are actually optimal. There's plenty of, uh, you know, people aren't being overworked. There's not, what's the word, too many jobs for the amount of people. It's the other way around, so that's good. Uh, so we're totally fine. All right, let's let time play and continue. Now, I was thinking, like I said before, of moving out to Jupiter, but not for a little while. We want to kind of get the resources that are immediately around me before we do that. And the mining ship is actually heading back in. Why are they doing that, I wonder? 78 resources to collect. Are they coming in for maintenance? It actually says that they have zero resources around them, but that shouldn't be the case. These aren't set to avoid, right? Cargo ship is going out to collect. Oh, right. There's no resources to mine. They're done mining. Oh, right. Okay, then you don't have to avoid this anymore. Oh, there's nothing to mine here either. <laughs> wow, that ship is super efficient. There's still a little bit to mine down here. So you can go do that, I guess. I get it now. All right, cool. Yeah, there we go. It's heading off. Nice. Cool. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I am going to actually build another probe and then find some more stuff for it to mine, I guess. So a nice benefit of this, it means that we should be able to cut down the stockpile. I'm going to change the stockpile to carbon. And then the carbon that comes in here should just get stored there for a little bit. And we'll send all that crap over here. Compartmentalize these things. All right, our little uh, alloy transports are heading down. I wonder how much they deliver in each batch. Wow, oh, it's just one each. Okay, well, it's going to take a little while then. That's cool. We should see... Oh, yeah. There we go. So now more iron's going to get delivered into here. Or, sorry, alloys. Probe has completed its scan. Let's go check it out. Oh, that was over here. So we've just actually opened up the possibility of getting more iron here and silicon. Now that music is awesome. Something that I didn't know about this game until right before it came out is it's actually made by the people that made Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Um, and that is an awesome game. I'm not even a really big fan of Warhammer. Or just, I like it, but I don't know it very well. Like, I'm not like a super fan or anything. But um, that game was awesome. Adeptus Mechanicus would be, I guess, in terms of what I've been exposed to for Warhammer, my favorite race, and my favorite sort of chapter. They're so fucking cool. <laughs> um, and when you hear those sort of, if you've played the game before, it's a great tactics game, sort of like a, it's kind of like an XCOM game. Um, and then it's also like a dungeon crawler. It's really, really cool. But this music, the organs and the kind of choirs and the chanting and stuff, like, that is so Mechanicus. So I don't know if it's the same composer or not, but it certainly gives me those vibes. And the synth. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, so how are we doing with Outer Hope? Always makes me think of Outer Heaven. If you know, you know. All right, uh, let's grab the probe scanner and let's see if we can find something around Jupiter. There's some iron right there. Iron and silicon. Can we get both? There we go. Because I think we're going to dock at Jupiter for a while or orbit it, and that way we can hit the belt, Uranus, and get some of these things a bit quicker. Although the mining ship won't mind just going that far. It doesn't, doesn't really mind. All right, let's speed up time just a little bit. We're just about to get done with our docking bay. Docking bay number two. Uh, while we're waiting on that, I'm just going to get rid of some of these roads and then start laying this place out a bit nicer. So I think what I'll probably want to do is sort of do what we've done down here and put a group of housing down this way. So as soon as that's done, we'll start decommissioning some houses and building new ones and moving people over. They have to deliver the goods first, so we'll just put 15 down there. Sorry, not 15, 3. Which requires three, uh, three batches of 15. Uh, tech is also currently paused because we don't have any tech right now. But there is 15 signs out in the solar system that we can go grab when we build that other sign ship. We're just waiting on the little guy to construct it. Look at him go. Oh, that's weird. He's not moving. Oh, he's actually bugged. Is he? Yeah, he is. He's not moving. Ah, oh, that's a shame. It's really cool. What do you see him doing? It looks like he's like dancing. I love it. He like going back and forth and like waving his little arms about. But yeah, he's just like frozen. Oh well. <laughs> we'll look at him next time he does something. I'm sure next time it'll fix it. A probe has completed its scan. Probe has completed its scan. Where was that one? Oh. Has completed a task. Hey, just like that, we finished the end of the outer hope. A new request awaits your attention. Outer Hope lies in ruins. Many embalmed bodies were found in the remains of the station. Dolos crew protocols do not direct for this type of preservation. The Ripley's team traced the emergency broadcast and after clearing away several tons of debris, uncovered the station's mainframe. They were able to access and extract Outer Hope's black box. Its data can be analyzed using the Tycoon's tech lab. That's like a tongue twister. Tycoon's tech lab. Uh, ready for extraction, we have 25 cryopods the new technology for the Outer Hope Black Box, and then the Legacy of Dolos event. Oh, we can dismantle the entire thing. Yeah, I don't see why not. Scavenge as many reasons. It said it was lying in ruins, so I don't think we can power it back on. But yeah, let's just take it apart. Why not? Three cycles to do that. All right, cool. So yeah, the probe that's done, it was out here. So we got, f oh wow, 528 iron. That's a lot, and 61 silicon. So there's plenty of silicon stuff for us to go grab there. So this mining ship is just going to mine it, extract it, leave it hanging, and then the cargo ship has to go get it and bring it back. Oh, the mining ship just turned around to go back for maintenance. Interesting. Cargo ship is heading off. High priority on the uh, cryopods right now. Love to see it. This is just about done construction. Our guy is still frozen in motion, which doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, his movement is completely screwed. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, ultimately, just build yourself a new cargo ship, and we'll figure that out in a moment. Then, how many people do we have here? So, there is plenty of people to allow for opening this. Actually, this requires 30 people, not 12. So, we can't quite afford it. We could turn off one or two things here. That should be okay. And then let's check it out. So, we received the data from the Outer Host black box. Further analysis is required from and extraction protocols can be launched via the Tycoon Tech Lab. There it is. Outer Hope black box. So that was a question mark before, so I had assumed that was part of some sort of event. And I was having a look through the tech tree before, actually. It said that to get to tier... T well, it says that to get these, you need tier 2. Or to do any upgrade, you need tier 2. I assume tier 2 is completing this row, com like, entirely. Because it says the previous tier to unlock tier 2. Get all the technologies. So once we get all of these, we need four more tech to finish electronics. Then we have batteries. And then we have the Outer Hope black box. I'll probably do the black box, I guess, first. And then batteries. I guess. We'll see. Sector 1 has some homeless people. Uh-oh. Well, we're going to be moving them, so don't worry about it. Our builder guy's coming back in. It's coming in hot. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's screwed. His animation is just completely frozen in place. I'm sure if he stops building and he goes back into the building, comes back out, it'll refresh it. But until then, we're just going to have to deal with that. Not that it really matters too much, but sometimes it can matter to people like me. I like to zoom in. 20 polymers. Do we have any polymers here? We actually don't. I'll tell you what. Switch this to polymers and let's just do a quick and dirty transfer of 20. Okay, 20 are on the way. You can see them coming in right now. Smooth. Once that gets done, then it'll just be immediately delivered over here. Nice. And that's to build a cargo ship itself. What are these noises kicking off, by the way? <laughs> uh, science ship Ripley completed its... Oh, right. No, it doesn't. Not yet. That's the other one. Okay, that's all fine. Are you coming back? They're coming back with the cryopods right now. 25 of them. Excellent. You can actually see the amount of tasks they've got queued up. And then the other science ship we make will send out to go get this science. How much is a science ship to do? Another 25 polymer and 5 people. Okay, so we need 25 more polymer to move in here. Getting kind of low on it. Well, I've told it to maintain 20 actually, so more should... Well, 25 should be what we tell it next. A science ship team has completed a task. Although it is a maintained thing, so it'll try to bring it... Even after we buy the, build the ship, it'll try to fill it up even more. Uh, science ship completed its task. Please give me some polymers. We're desperate. Yes, 13 and 37. Our hope, outer hope is being dismantled. Resources are ready for extraction. It's going to take the cargo ship a little while to get out there again. So it's got 13 polymers... Forget the iron, don't worry about that. And then people. Is that it? And alloys, get them. Great. Good. Good, good, good. Everything's looking great. Mining ship has been repaired. It's doing its thing. And then we're just waiting to get our other cargo ship and our other science ship. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Oh my god. Oh, there's overwork. Whoops. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, not much I can do about that right now. We have to move people over here. That's why I built that thing. How many people are sick? It's getting better. And how many people do we have free? Four. <laughs> uh, okay. That's where it gets a little tough. I guess we'll migrate from sector one into sector two. We'll migrate, I don't know, 20 people just to help. Oh, crap. Did I say... Any crew, yeah, don't want to do that. Just workers, please. Don't want to bring in any, bring in over any infirm, where the people that can't work. This is in industry central. We'll create a nice, lovely habitat for other people later, but not today. Now the tech tree. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. We have enough, actually, enough tech. Nice. Let's do it. Outer Hope Black Box has been researched. We have our electronics factory. Excellent. So now we can actually turn silicon into um, electronics. In this factory. It's a big boy. Yeah. Just trying to think where it could go with... Uh, we could have a row of houses right next to it, actually. That might look kind of cool. Might put it about there. Can that be built there? It looks like it's encroaching. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, it looks okay. Okay, yeah, that's probably where I'll stick it. Although we'll see. All right, we got an extra population here, so they're in extra hours right now. Everyone's in extra hours right now. Yeah, I know, I know. So let me turn off the probe launcher. That saves nine people. Now they're optimal, so they're okay. These guys are. A little overworked. Anyone else we can say don't don't be bothering with that? Four people here. I mean, every little helps. So we're only constructing one thing at a time in this place. That's okay. Everything else is kind of essential, I would say. Yeah. Food, certainly. Now... Oh, the station balance is still positive, even though we brought in all these extra people. Good. 
Yeah, so, um, while nothing else is getting built here, I want them to build more houses, so... Maybe like that, and then start dismantling some of the other ones. I guess I'll wait to dismantle. And these guys will move down here. Good. And I won't build too close to that sector, just in case. Or to that area. Because it might have to grow or change. Alright, fleet management. So we have our second um, cargo ship. And you can see it's actually represented by its sector. That's really cool. Good UI again. Uh, so this other cargo ship, once it's done here, I'm going to be moving it. It's going to bring in some more alloys and then that's going to be it. And then this chamber, this cry cryonic center and everything is going to move. So let's go to fleet management. I'm going to tell it this guy in sector 2. Iron. That's your main priority, really. Just bring that in. And there it goes. So it's heading off now to collect its iron, and then we can store that up here. So we've got room for just 100 at the moment. We'll try to have a bit more, and then they'll be used in the steel mill. Good. I'm looking forward to getting this place up and running. It's, it's such an OCD thing inside of me where I'm like, oh man, I need to get it to be, use every little grid spot I have and make it kind of efficient. Alright. What else do we have going on? Not much. So we're building a sign ship right now. They only have one polymer delivered right now. Why is that? There's zero polymers in here. Oh, I know why, because this is still at 50. This needs to be at 25. Both being at 25 means the transfer should work. And that ship should get made. Well, these people here are happy and they have optimal conditions and more people are getting made. Well, not made, but uh, awoken every day. The hull integrity is also doing awesome. We could also power this down for a little bit to save on people if we really wanted to. We could take the hit, I think. And we have to find and collect 500 people. We've currently got almost 100. And then we're analyzing the black box. We're at 95%, so that's almost done right now. Exciting. A new request awaits your attention. Yeah, I'll check it in a sec. Alright, cool. Our new houses are looking good. So, these people have to move as well. Is there people living in these places? There's no one in that one, so this can already power down. They'll move into there. Good. And then we'll have a second row on top of it, just like we do here. Don't see why not. Move the infirmary next to them as well. Again, could just... Whoops. Could just build a second infirmary. That's going to take 40 alloys. We've got barely any alloys here, so again, we'll have to... We're getting pretty low on them, actually. We have to turn that steel mill back on. We need more people in here. So let's move this down to 50. Sector 2 is trying to maintain 100. Is there anything waiting to come in that hasn't? No, that looks okay. Okay, so four homeless here. Really? Oh yeah. Well, there's a few extra houses here. I don't understand. Oh, sorry for Sector 2. I'm an idiot. Did that before as well, actually. Uh, yep, let's go check the black box. So, the data has provided some information on the events that took place following the tycoon's failed vol jump. Records tell of how the Earth was ravaged by the Luna Clism. In the ensuing chaos, states radicalized and the UN declared Dolos an enemy of humanity. The black box's data also describes a Dolos facility hidden in the atmosphere of Jupiter. Oh! I was wondering because we didn't see anything going on with Jupiter, which is very unusual. Of officially designated Hephaestus, the site was used to develop a new type of Vol engine. It also accommodated... <laughs> that's a good idea, right? It also accommodated the construction of a Taurus-class superstructure known to Dolus as the Protagoras. This iteration on the Tycoon was sent on a mission to seek out the habitable exoplanet Remus, where the last survivors of Earth could establish a new home. Despite the damage done to Outer Hope, the station will still able to later receive a distress signal from the Protagoras with vol jump coordinates encoded, indicating the ship's last presumed location. Interesting. Awesome. 
I like that. It's almost like they want redemption. It's like they're going to do it again. But we're going to get it right this time. Send an expedition to Jupiter. Perfect. I mean, that's literally where I was planning on moving. I swear to God, I had no idea. I've never gone this far in the game. Don't know what's happening. Just thought it was a perfect place because we had anomalies around there. That's all. <laughs> but it was suspicious that there was nothing there, I must admit. Um, still kind of is that there isn't, like, there even their moons are represented. Because I do feel like Jupiter's moons are huge. Alright, well, things are looking good. We don't have to do that immediately. We can do it soon enough, though. Does our scientists have anything to do, actually, thinking about it? No, they're over at Outer Hope. Let's go down and collect that science that's there. At Mercury. And then maybe we'll go down to Saturn or something else and then before we go back. So I feel like I'm struggling a bit. Need to get some improved technologies and stuff to help us out. So tech-wise, we've only got six tech available to get the batteries, which will finish tier two tech. So we can free up our workforce, 30 workers now, by closing this down. Maybe turning a few of these things back on, I don't know. I want to do a bit of a, just a reorganizational effort now. As long as we're making food, we're not in any dire trouble. It's not like we're burning fuel or anything. Although we are burning alloys constantly to sort of repair. So that's true. This takes 30 workers as well. So we could move those 30 that we're doing science into here and start refining. Yeah, might have to do that. So let's do that now. They're going to be hurting for housing, but we can build that pretty soon. So, And I'll be worried about taking these guys out of here. But maybe when this is b built, they'll just move if we decommission it, hopefully. We'll have to see. So let's start that project. So we'll connect this road over. We'll get another house built right there. Just leave it at that for now. And then we'll start decommissioning these ones. But now it's going to be much more organized and room for a lot more industry and stuff. We've got a lot of space up in the corner though as well. Um, tempting then to maybe just do... I suppose something like this. Oh, there's a gap actually. Okay, never mind. I was going to maybe build a big bunch of stockpiles here, but I don't want to have a gap if I can avoid it. It's probably unavoidable completely, but maybe. This seems to be like it can go anywhere as well. Okay. Alright, let's just let time play. 101 cycles in. Still looking for cryonic pods. Still building ships and stuff. We're building the science ship now. It has everything it needs. People are overworked here, so I'm worried about that. People are going to be getting sick. And then we're in need of alloys kind of greatly. So there's 49 alloys in this sector and there's 75 in here. So we're just waiting on to build a few of those houses, but then we could just decommission the old ones. I think as well, temporarily, we'll just build another workshop so we can actually get people building faster. We're going to need a lot. So I'll set these to high priority. Pause that one. And then we'll have loads of people coming out building really quickly for us, or at least a lot quicker. And then we can just decommission it when we don't need it anymore. Are we looking? Don't know why, but I like to just check on things every now and then. Cool. Cargo ships coming in hot with the uh, iron. And this one is going out to get more of the alloys and stuff that's out here. It's just alloys to get. Good. Alright, I am struggling for population though, I'll admit. That's why we need to kind of get that other science ship out, up and running, visit all these different places, try to bring back as many cryonic pods as we can. Because I feel like we have the space to feed everyone, we just don't have the necessary to keep all our industry running, you know? The clock is ticking now that I've just thought about it with the uh, whole integrity. We're always burning alloys doing that. All right, good. We've got the extra uh, construction here. So let's now try something a little more complicated. We'll resume the construction of this. I'm going to wait until these four are at least done just to help mitigate any problems. And then we need to dismantle the insect farm for a bit. And dismantle the mess hall even. Alright, it's a lot of dismantling, but hopefully they can do it relatively quick. These guys are just about done, right? Oh no, don't, don't be giving me more accidents. 
They're in optimal conditions. What are you talking about? Come on. Nice. Love to see the iron coming in. Flooding into this thing. And then we'll turn this on in a moment. So how many people do we have now? 54. And we have 53. Just waiting for these four. There we go. Okay, let's just dismantle this building now. And uh, tell this to get built. This is, why isn't this getting built right now? Don't know. Building must be connected to an active stockpile. To access alloys. It is. That's active. And that's connected. Let me try again. Oh, because of the way I deleted things, actually. You have to get a mess hall down first. Goddamn. So it actually leaves room at the back of it for... A ha uh, not really. For a house. Let's just tuck that up in the corner <laughs> where it's not needed right now. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. And can we say high priority or no? Oh, that just gets put down immediately, does it? Yeah. Okay, so that's done. So then we need the infirmary again. So let's try this again. It is connected, correct? The road is connected all the way up to the stockpile, so... Oh, it's because it was facing the other way, wasn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my bad. Sorry. <laughs> I do remember now. Yeah, that's what it was. Whoops. But this will make things run a lot smoother. I guarantee it. Just need to kind of make things compact without sacrificing too many problems. Hopefully it just gets built nice and quick. And then um, this really needs to be decommissioned. It's not yeah, demolish. I don't know why they're not decommissioning it. Is there a reason for that? Does that need to be connected to the road as well or something? It is connected to the road. Oh, it needs to collect resources. That might be why. The priority is on building this and then maybe they have to collect it and send it back in there. That could be it. There's 39 to get. And I'm speeding through time a bit too much probably while other things are happening. So 68 is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're taking it. Good, 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 good. There's actually not going to be enough room for it. But that's okay. We can just queue up building our other houses now. Alright, good. So the construction guys, once this stuff gets delivered, they'll head out and start doing that. Alright, nice. Interesting. So I'm learning as I go. But interesting. Right, what do we have here? 120 workers are required. There's an extra 50 available. So let's move them. We wanted to move at least 30. What was that? Oh, we just saw a massive explosion. So sector 1 to sector 2, only workers, please move 30 people again. We should have the housing facilities for them now. We'll turn on the steel mill and we'll get cooking. In fact, we can turn it on right now anyway, can't we? Well, that counts as overwork, so we'll leave it off just for a sec. <laughs> so how's the migration going? About a third done. All right, cool. All right, things are okay now. So, uh, Quranic Center has been disabled in Sector 1 due to an accident. Actually, that's not even that bad of a deal, big of a deal, because I'm going to be dismantling this as well. So, we'll let it get repaired, and then we'll just dismantle it. Yeah, I don't think that really matters, because the, the construction guy is not doing anything else anyway. Right, what else could we be doing? We have our second sign ship, right? Can't, he can go out and do stuff now. The Francis. Alright, Francis, Saturn. Ripley, got its science. You go to the debris field. Alright? Good. So we're constantly getting iron from the iron that we've already mined. We're heading to the debris field with a scientist and to Saturn. And then back in sector Population 2. We just transferred people in. We can now turn this on. Conditions are optimal. We're now going to be refining steel, iron, into alloys. 
And we can tidy this place up a little bit as well. Now we only have storage for a hundred alloys at the moment. We can change that soon. Now that's two ships assigned to here. So what I'd like to do is get this cargo ship and say, whoops, unassign. And pick it here, Gloose Cap. All right, so now we've got two cargo ships in the docking bay Dampierre. In the docking bay Wilhelmshaven, we can get another sign ship if we want. Is three too much? Maybe I'll just wait for a little while and see what I see what I need. Okay. Actually, this sign ship can move to the other one. So unassigned there. We'll reassign them here. I think I have to send them back out. Sorry, not don't build one. I think I have to send them back out. Uh, it looks like it's going back to the Tika and probably has to kind of probably launch from that place again before it goes to Saturn. So sorry about that, but it'll make things easier in future because then we can make another cargo ship here. We don't need to do it immediately though. Um, so debris field. Here we are. We have verified the data several times. It can confirm the existence of a vast debris field covering an area of several thousand kilometers. At the center of the field is a colossal artificial structure, which, even in its ruined state, makes the tycoon look like an insect. No signals have been detected. We've identified three areas for investigation. Ah, we read this already. The Ripley is holding station at the edge of the debris field. A route has been mapped through the areas identified for investigation. Go to the core, the ruined loading dock, or survey the dense area of debris. Dense area of debris, please. Great. All right, good. Feeling a little bit more confident now. I feel like um, population's kind of sorting itself out a bit better. Is this done now? This can be now decommissioned. There's no more cryopods left. We'll move it over to the other place. There we go. There's our cargo ship unloading the... Uh, the iron. Iron is actually full up right now, so this is the kind of thing where we're going to have to have a lot of storage. Which is why it was kind of tempting to put it there, but it doesn't quite fit nicely anyway. Yeah, so let's get another one here. And then we'll change this to be... Well, this needs to be dismantled actually, so this can be food. And we can get our road fixed here. How's the population situation? That's fine. It seems like we have enough people here. Let's just build another house anyway. And that's our little housing block with their infirmary. Okay, they seem to have got the capacity of people, so that's fine. And here is okay too. Good. All right, things are getting better. A little bit more organized. I'm going to keep saying that over and over just to reassure myself. <laughs> Now, I did actually decommission one of the food things, so we're losing food slightly over time. It would be nice if we just concentrated food production in here and delivered it in there. Um, what is, is this an industry building? No, it's counted as a food building, so we can maybe have a sector doing food eventually. So we won't be able to fit it there. There's no more room, but I could probably... Maybe just pop it down here for, for a little while temporarily. I should keep us going for a bit. So, population-wise, we have 89 workers are required and 87 workers are available slash living here right now. So that's good. Pretty good, right? So just slight little bit of overwork there. Two people are working overtime to make up for two other people that aren't here. Tech-wise, we're up to 21, so we still can't get that back in line. And what about down here? So population-wise, uh, we can actually turn back on the tech building. Just keep it going in the background. Why not? And start doing battery tech. Then we need alternate care and memorials. All right, cool. Francis, sorry, I need to send that back out. Back to Saturn you go. And then we're currently looking at the debris field. Alright, good. 
So fleet management. This is just on iron, and this other one is on other things too. We can put it on iron and just send it out now as well. So both of them are going to be getting iron. Even though there isn't even that much around. Uh, yeah, you can start mining some silicon and we'll put down storage base for all that. See, the thing is, the storage base, man, we gotta um, have the workforce to even manage them. You know, that's the, that's the pain. So is that good now? We can now dismantle this one. So that's iron. We'll turn this to iron as well, probably. And that allows me to just clean up this, neaten up this road as well a little bit. Okay. A little bit nicer, but not great because we do have to still have this road here, right? Could get rid of that one actually and move everything up <laughs> if we want to be really space efficient, which I think we do. All right, so. All right, we'll just add a road there. I'm gonna add more storage on this side of it, actually. Good. How are we doing? 1.9 cycles left to go. We're on cycle 112, we're flying ahead. And we're almost at Saturn. So a refresher on Saturn, a structure belonging to the Black Market Society was discovered here. So yeah, it'll be interesting to learn about that because we did see debris and outer hope from both the UN and the Black Market Society as well as Dolos itself. Looks like he's going to get there probably right around the time that that's done. And are we all good in here? Waste is accumulating in here and being destroyed. So before we check that out, just real quick, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this, and then I'll build a road on this side. One, two, three. So that's two for iron and maybe one for alloys. All right, so let's get that all built, please. And that's our storage area, and then I can rework this in a bit. <laughs> it's constant reworking, but it's, it's fine. I actually really enjoy it. I hope people don't mind me. Rebuilding all the time. Seeing as you get all the resources back, I feel like nothing's really wasted doing it. But people will get overworked in here. What's the alloy situation? We've got 95 and then 18 in here. So we're getting low. And if you remember, this is what's needed to repair the hull. So we got to, like, get, get cranking this production out fast. 15 alloy into 15. The ship team has completed a task. So they only require two alloys per cycle. That's not too bad, because we're actually able to make 15 per cycle. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, let's just pre-select these, and then we'll look at the events. So iron, iron, and alloys. Let's just leave it like that. Let them do their thing. I'll pause the construction of this one and this one. All right, let's check these events. Uh, the Francis is maintaining orbit around the Titan. Oh, sorry, around Titan at a safe distance. Make contact. <clears throat> Make contact with the Black Market Society or leave them. Or just leave them. Yeah, let's try to... <clears throat> God damn, my voice. Let's try to make contact. Debris field, alloys, pods, and tech. The wrecks of shuttles float everywhere. Most belong to the UN. Although... Oh, sorry. Though there are some bearing the acronym BMS. Despite the many hazards and potential psychological impacts from the presence of human corpses, the Ripley team was able to locate some salvageable resources. Damn, man, this battle's all over the system. Investigate the core of the structure or investigate the ruined loading dock. The loading dock, please. Now, we haven't told anyone to go get those people. They'll be fine, but we do need to build a new cryo thing. It's a population... Cryonics Center. Just trying to think, where should this go? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's a storage thing here for cryonics, like for people. 
cryopods. Maybe just somewhere here would be nice, so we could pop it like that. And how much room does that give us? It gives us five grid spaces. Okay, so five grid spaces. What else could fit in there? Because if we want to forward plan this properly, we should really make use of all this space. So, steel mill actually fits so nicely in there, obviously, because it's the same height. What other production do we have? The electronics factory. It's too wide to fit in there, even if we turn it. And then the polymer refinery. Hmm. That could kind of work. So that could be in there, for instance. And then if we have a look... And how many... That leaves us with f uh, five on the other side. And this takes up five. But it wouldn't leave any room for the road then, would it? Yeah, I don't think so. Damn, it's close, but not good enough. Yeah, definitely only leaves five slots on the other side. For some reason, I'm looking at that thinking, like, that is definitely enough. But it doesn't seem to be. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> my, my math isn't... It, visually, it looks like it would fit, but anyway, sorry. Uh, okay, then, let's see. I mean, I could just build it somewhere and then move it, right? So sorry for being so anal about it. Let's just pop it down somewhere here, and I'll move it later when we need to decide where it's going to go. So it's going to take some electronics. We have enough here to be built uh, to build it, so it's not, not a big deal. And then we can tell our cargo thing to go get it, and we'll assign one of these to be storage for cryopods. So, fleet management... You can also get these as a priority. You're on mid-priority for this, and high-priority for those other two things. Good? Good. So yeah, when the waste builds up, it looks like it takes a little bit of time, and then they destroy the waste until we get the policy that allows us to do something with it. Now they load up the iron, and then they get refining alloys. Cool. Good. I think it's becoming efficient. It's not an efficient way of getting to this point, but I think it's becoming efficient. Uh, these guys are working a little extra hours, though, unfortunately. It's because the tech is on right now. But we don't really have any. I'm going to save them the time. Don't worry about it. Just be happy. Anything else going on out here? Can we move anyone? Nope. They've got one... They both have 1.9 cycles each. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Steel mill has gone offline. An explosion... Let's just get it repaired. Alright, that looks good. Everything seems fine. Uh, what's our food situation now? The station is producing 9.8 and consuming 5.8. That can't be right. That seems way too high. It says we're making 4.4 food on the entire station per day. Or per cycle. Really? That can't be right, right? It, we must have just found some food, did we? Because that's one, two, three, four, five. That's six food that we're getting. And yet it says we're making 10.2. So unless I'm missing something, we must have just brought in some. We'll keep an eye on it. Although I didn't tell them to collect any, so I'm kind of perplexed by that. Hmm. All right, steel is back online. And these things are getting built. Alloys, we have 32 here, so they should be able to make all of these and queue them all up. So let's now decommission this one. Or just tell it not to store anything and let it get emptied out. So delivering, oh my God, there's so much iron ore actually. We might as well just keep this online then. That's crazy. I didn't realize we had so much. All right, science teams have completed their tasks. Let's check it out. So, immensity. Frozen human remains constitute the majority of the debris that surrounds the loading dock. Jesus. Evidence suggests that the area experienced depressurization after a structural breach. 
The dock itself has been looted and partially dismantled. Several cards have been left behind, arranged in helical shapes and erected using makeshift materials. The team did find a few resources that have been prepared for the extraction. Some tech and some one electronics, okay? Last one is to investigate the core of the structure. Down here at Saturn. Okay, we try to make contact. After receiving no response to communication attempts, the team landed the Francis and advanced towards the complex. Security protocols in place, the defenses activated briefly and fired on the team. Fortunately, there seems to be little remaining power and they quickly shut down. Okay, that was similar to something we saw before. Entering the complex, the team were attacked by strange animals. Recorded footage from the mission shows an emaciated simian amalgam. The team repelled the attack with improved wep improvised weapons and the creatures retreated. Unfortunately, no samples could be recovered. Venturing further into the complex, unsettling works of art and esoteric writing were discovered. Although the station is still pressurized, <clears throat> progress was made difficult due to the lack of any artificial gravity. In addition, a giant fungus had spread throughout the complex, releasing huge volumes of spores into the local atmosphere. Within what appears to be the main entrance hall, a bronze statue of Marduk council member Giovanni Battista has been erected inconsistencies in the reports from different members of the exploration team suggest that recorded information may not be entirely accurate any conclusions drawn must be discounted what the hell the people that went in there did i read that right the reports from different members of our exploration team they don't even oh that's really weird so they got fungus weird animals and then giovanni battista the guy that was like talking to us originally at the beginning of the game and on setting out for our first expedition has a statue to his name interesting ooh send the team deeper hmm we can always come back right i'm hoping we can come back i'm sh i believe we can come back please let me that to be true but i feel like maybe we need to get a technology or something that improves our chances. I don't know. That's just what I feel. So I'm going to leave it for now. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it not possible to go back? Like, what happens if I just do that? Let's see what happens. Well, they should be getting the signs there right now anyway. Current action standing by. Science will be collected after event completion. Hmm. Hmm, not looking good with that. Seeing as we're at the end of the episode, I'm just going to briefly save it, bounce out, load back in, see what happens. Alright, so we're back at the event pretty much where we had left off. So, I wanted to see if leaving it meant we could come back later. Turns out that no, you can't. If you leave the event, it counts as the event ending, and then you can get the tech. Uh, so I loaded the save right where I had saved it, and then I was able to get the tech, but the event was done, effectively. So, what I've done is I loaded an autosave, which is just like five minutes old. I think it autosaves like every ten minutes or so, so it was only one five minutes ago. Basically did everything the exact same, just did the other event, did this one, and here we are again. So I'm going to send them in, even though it was against my better judgement, and we'll see what happens gonna take five days to do that so we'll just play for another minute or two maybe we'll see what the result of that is although this one's gonna be in three days this is in five actually it might be a bit too long cycles really um, the only other difference then is on loading that autosave the only other difference is these guys are working extra hours I don't know if that was the case before so I powered down these two constructors and then also <clears throat> I've allowed the construction of these two so this is gonna be iron 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 and this is gonna be alloys and alloys and then this is uh, cryopods so same as before everything else should be the exact same as before no other changes all the same so sorry about that but yeah now they're in overwork so I'm a little nervous about that and I think it's just because we've so many of these things so I've actually actively turned this off and I'm hoping that they deliver their resources to other things but these are just so busy right now pulling it all in from here but that should be just about done, and then they should go over here and get it. 
And then I can turn this off and that should hopefully mitigate the overwork that we're getting just a bit. It's kind of high. Uh, you guys can stop doing that as well. So we'll save on about 10 or 15 workers in a moment. Now here, how many do we have? We've got enough to do a little migration maybe again. And we've got that pod. Well, the pods are coming in soon too, but I, I think I'll do it just to, just to be safe. So we'll start another... Whoop, wrong thing. We'll do another migration from Sector 1. So the number of crew, only workers, maybe just just 10. Just a, a handy little 10. So 10, 20, tw and 30 as, as what's been coming in so far. But just another 10, Sector 1, Sector 2. And everyone in here is workers, actually, at the moment, which is good. Makes things easier to track. All right, anything else going on out here? 1.4 cycles, 3.4. Those are our two science ships are busy right now. And there's tech to be gotten here, so that allows us to continue our tech when we get back. And we're cargo ships bringing back 30 alloys. These are bringing back 30 iron, raw iron. Good, yeah, these are being emptied out now. Nice, love to see it. So that's 100, 100, 100. God, they're just maxed out. So you know what, just turn this off. Save the workers right now. This is now pretty much empty, right? This is done. Population transfer complete. Yeah, seems to be. All right, population transfer complete. Transfer, sorry. So that's extra hours. So now we have, we're about 20 workers short. So we're getting about that amount coming in soon, actually. Uh, if we have a look around. Where did we just get them from? The debris field, right? They have about 20 or something there. So the cargo ship should have its priority. Yeah, 25. So we'll bring them back, hopefully thaw them out. Some of them are going to be the um, non-workers that we'll send to Sector 1. <laughs> Alright, Ripley has completed a task at the debris field. Oh my, another group, I think. I think it must be, right? First, uh, first visuals reveal a huge damaged structure surrounded by arches that have detached from their central axis. These arches show extreme signs of deterioration. The structure is covered in traces of explosive residue, collision impacts, and scarring from unknown weaponry. Now, after exploring the few areas of the structure that remain accessible, the team of the Ripley spotted a number of salvageable resources near a ruined assembly area. Further analysis is possible, but it will take time. Alright, and then the final thing is to do investigate the ruined assembly area. So that was investigating the core. So that means there's a total of 50 there now, right? Yes, good. Okay, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be just fine. All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. We'll see what's going on with Saturn as we venture, de venture deeper into the smog, the spores, and the animals, and find out more about BMS. Then we've got four days to get more out of that debris field, hopefully more cryopods, bring them all back to the tycoon. Then we're going to move the tycoon over to Jupiter and start figuring out what's going on over there with Dolos. All right, I am fucking loving this game. <laughs> I don't know if it's just my affinity for, oh my God, I didn't even know you could rotate this. I don't know if it's just my affinity for space things, but I just think it's so cool being able to like move your ship around. You're building your ship, you're building inside the ship, building on the exterior of the ship, and then uncovering the mysteries of what's going on in the space. I mean, it's so good, <laughs> so I love it. All right, that's gonna have to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.